Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another plan with me and I am planning week commencing the 1st of April. April was a very exciting but not exciting month for me. Um, it was lots of highs and lots of lows. Um, so the plan with me is going to be quite interesting um, and I will pre-warn you that I will not be filming, I think it's the next week, um, just because going through the plans is probably going to be a bit triggering for me and um, so I'm not going to do that and um, um, that was the same with the weeks in March um, but I will be planning this week and I will I think be planning every other week in April um, but yeah so um, this week I am using the besties kit which was the planner face mystery from October 2023. I absolutely love this kit and I just had to keep it because I loved it so much but I just wasn't really ever sure when I was going to use it and um, however here it has presented itself so it does come with this super cute vinyl which is basically like um two hearts of a cookie so I am going to try and hopefully fit that in somewhere um, and then this is the kit. So it's the usual standard vertical format, but we do have lots of add-ons because the mystery always comes with every add-on, including the mystery add-on. Um, and yeah, the reason I'm using this is because this week, um, something quite significant happened in my life. And um, my one of my best friends, um, Joanne, who owns Josephine Bow Designs, um, came running to my rescue. Um, so I suppose that kind of was the inspiration for using the besties kit. Um, so yeah, I am really excited. I have pulled all of my stickers and I am, I've got custom scripts from Planner Face. Um, I am using font 13. Um, I do PR for Planner Face, so you can use my code Beth to save um, and mention my name to get one of the seasonal freebies. Um, you can check out my Instagram for the most up-to-date seasonal freebies. Um, so my code is not valid on the mystery kit or on custom scripts, um, but you can purchase all together and then it basically just takes the discount off the stuff that it's applicable, um, except for the mystery, which should be purchased on its own. Okie dokie. So I'm not gonna use the 15 millimeter add-on um, just cause I really prefer the um, main bottom washi in the kit. So I'm gonna be using that. Um, I have been doing some playing about with my weekly spreads. So if you watched my um, April monthly plan with me, I did go over the weekly spreads that I basically didn't film. Um, and I was talking through the different um, like formats that I tried, the different layouts like in the weekly spread. Um, I tried like where I placed my full boxes. I did some messing around with color blocking. Um, yeah, it was um, it was quite fun. Just to kind of try something new because I wasn't um, filming plan with me's for those spreads. It was a little bit more um, relaxed. So I was able to kind of mess about with trying some new things, um, which I don't do very often. But yeah, um, how is everybody? I hope you are all well. It's actually been a really, really long time since I filmed a weekly plan with me. Um, I obviously just yesterday filmed my April monthly spread, but all of my other spreads that I filmed, I actually filmed ages ago and I've just not managed to get around to editing them. Um, so that's why I kind of had a couple of weeks where I didn't upload a plan with me, but actually I think maybe the beginning of March was when I filmed um, all of like my February spreads. I was like up to date. Um, so yeah. Okie dokie, now then let's have a think about what, we've got so many full boxes, we've got tall boxes, we've got the usual boxes, we've got the boxes on the mystery add-on, we've got full boxes literally coming out of our ears. And I do need something for in the top corner for my April script. And I actually think I'm going to use one of these. I really love these on the mystery and I always forget they're there until like after I've finished filming my plan with me's with mystery kits. And then I think, oh, goodness sake, I completely forgot to use um, these like, I suppose they're like ink swatch, where are they? Where have they gone? Ink swatches or paint swatches. But yeah, I really like them. Um, So full box wise, We've got a double box there. We've got these ones. How many have we actually got? Two double scenes. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
and a tall box and then some different hair colors and skin tones. Wow, okay. So I'm not gonna use any of these, I don't think. Um, and I probably won't end up using this one because I really wanna try and use the vinyls. Um, I just don't quite know where I'm going to fit them is my only thing. Um, I don't know if you can see that, they're, they're gonna like go over my Monday box. And Monday was quite a busy day. Hmm, I don't know. We might not be able to use them. We might just have to use this full box and then I might actually just have to give Joanne the other side of this vinyl and maybe put it like, I don't know, I've got some room at like the front of my planner. So maybe I'll put my half in there and, cause I just don't know it's gonna fit. But anyway, um, so let's have a look. Oh, so many. I don't usually have this much trouble. I don't normally have this much choice. Right, this looks a bit like me. Apart from my hair's a little bit lighter and I have glasses. But if I wasn't wearing my glasses, maybe it would look like me. Um, I really always hate putting full boxes down at the bottom because I can never ever get it to line up. That's too low. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! So, where are the glitter headers? Hmm. Let's go for light pink at the top. And we'll go for dark pink down here. Hope you can see this. Sorry, I'm on an angle. I always try and turn my camera around because I work on an angle. Um, but I want it to be straight when you watch it because <laughs> I don't want anyone to be like trying to move the head, trying to see it. Anyway, I'm babbling. Um, okay. Have we got one that looks like Joanne? Oh, no. Oh, the hair's a little bit long. Let's go for... I like this one with the like, keep going, think positive, find your fire. I really like that one. So we're definitely gonna use that one. And I think, let's use this like perfumey one in the middle. Then we'll go with the like middle pink. Okay, so I should have room for one more box. Hmm. Oh, so many decisions. Let's go for this one with like the drink trolley, because that's cute. There we go, okie dokie. So I think I'm definitely going to use this box on Friday because this was when Joanne came. Um, so I'm definitely going to use that box there. And then I do want to use one of the double box scenes. I think I'm going to go for this one. Um, just because the other one's kind of giving me more like birthday Hindu kind of vibes. So let's go that one okay then we've got this one I want to use on Saturday I think I'm just going to dump it in the middle but I can always move it if it doesn't line up um, right okay then on Monday let's get started on the weekly plans I'm not going to use those I'm going to use this cute one I think and I'm probably going to just dump it here we can always move stuff. Right, okay. This is where we get removable mat. So, on Monday. Monday was Easter Monday. So, Monday was a bank holiday. Um, and I am marking that with just this, like, floral bundle from Papershire. Um, and as I mentioned at the beginning, all of my custom scripts are from Planner Face. And they're in this gorgeous typewriter font, which was the... Black Friday 
exclusive font, which has now been released permanently as font 13 after we all begged Anna um, to please release it as a permanent font. So I am gonna have to move that box, shocker. Going on to, so, sorry, still on Monday. Um, I just wanted to also mark that it was East, Easter Monday and that was the bank holiday. Um, so I've got this really cute like Easter egg sticker, which is from Planner Face, and that was actually off my Easter egg hunt sheet. Um, so over Easter weekend, Anna did a Easter egg uh, hunt, which was basically like if you spent, I think it was £25, you got um, a like scratch card with a code and you got to log onto a website and put your code in and like you got a prize. Um, I won a standard vertical kit, which was awesome. Um, but on the sheet that had the code on, like the scratch card, there was all these cute Easter eggs in like really cute pastel colours. So I thought I'd use one of those. Then also on that day, I did my um, PR order for Planner Face. Um, and I also had some points as well. Um, so I'm marking that with a sticker sheet icon, which is from Planner Face. Then... What else have we got? We did go out for dinner on this day, um, just to the pub with Thea. Um, and I'm marking that with a food and drink kind of like plate icon from Planner Face. Then, what else did we have this day? I was feeling very stressed out on this day. Um, no, I need to think about this. And make sure I put it on the correct side. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I was really, really stressed out on this day. Um, I was just not having a good day. So, um, oh, I've done it on the wrong side. I always do this. I actually want to change the colour, so it's not the end of the world. Okay. Let's do it on the right side. Um, so I'm just marking that with like this emoti from the Coffee Monsters Co, which is just like um, cuddled around a candle, trying to zen out. Then I went for a walk and had some games time. So just marking going for a walk with one of the like trainer um, icons from Planner Face. I've got my like walk script and then finally I've got games time and those like switch stickers are from Paper K. Oh, I'm loving how pink this is already. Pink is not normally my colour. Um, Rachel of Rachel Beauty Plans is a pink person. Um, I am not particularly a pink person. However, I am absolutely here for this because it is adorable. Okay, so on Tuesday, I think I'm gonna use like this waffle full box. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. So then I can kind of work down to that. So on Tuesday, I was, oh, I was back to work and it were year end. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. Not only have you been off for a bank holiday and you have got to go back to work, but you've got to go back to work to year end. So obviously I am an accountant and um, the thing is, is that I work in the NHS um, and basically we get three weeks to submit our accounts. So whereas like limited companies get until like their next year, they get like a year to prepare their accounts, we get three weeks. So we went back to work on the 2nd of April and our accounts were due on the 23rd. Um, and obviously there were weekends in between that. So we got like, I think it was less than three working weeks to submit our accounts. Um, and then the auditors come in for eight weeks to audit them. So we get three weeks to prepare them and they get eight weeks to scrutinize them, which just seems rather unfair in my eyes. But anyway, uh, such is my job. So yes, it was year end, which always means I can't have any time off and I've just worked so many hours. Um, so basically it was the Easter holidays um, and Thea was at her friend's. So Thea, um, Billy's mum had them Tuesday, Wednesday and I had them Thursday, Friday. Um, I was working from home whilst I had them. Um, but luckily they were really well behaved and didn't, well, I say they were really well behaved. They were mostly really well behaved. Um, 
But yeah, so I had a very, very long day at work. Um, both of these I have marked with squidges from Stick With The Planko. Then I had my nails done this day, um, which was nice. Love nail day. And I got rainbow nails. So these were totally inspired by Georgia, who owns um, Oh Hello Feelings Co. And she got some like um, rainbow pastel um, chrome nails and I outright copied her is the only word I have to say for it. I absolutely just got exactly what she had um, because I really, really loved them. Um, and I got loads of compliments on them as well. I did give her credit. I did tag her in them and say that I'd stole them from her. But I had to work late on this day. Um, I'm pretty sure I worked from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. and then from half seven till 10. Crazy day. Um, very, very long. But yeah, then I did three wash loads on this day. Um which just felt like it took me a lifetime. Um, I was like running down in between my team's meetings um, to put the washing on. So yeah, I did three wash loads. And then basically um, I went to collect the parcel, which is which was Rainbow Magic Books. So you will see this popping up like quite a few times in the next few weeks of Plan With Me's. Um, basically, earlier in March, Theodora had gone to the book fair at school and she picked out a Rainbow Magic book. Now, I used to collect Rainbow Magic books when I was younger um, and I couldn't believe they were even still a thing. Like, I was actually so shocked they were even still making them. And when I was little, I think there were about 70 books um, and I had, I had pretty much all of them. Um, well, now there's over like 270, but I'm talking, I'm talking 20 years ago. Like I just turned 27 last week. So I, we're talking 20 years ago. I was collecting these books. I was, I was older than Thea. Um, but yeah, still going. So I went down a bit of a vintage rabbit hole and um, basically collecting these books for her. Um, and every time you see that rainbow magic in, um, in my planet, it's when I've been to collect a vintage parcel um, but I have managed to collect over 150 of the books and it's cost me about £60, which I think is amazing because that is less than, it's less than 50p a book. Um, so yeah, can't complain at that. Anyway, so yeah, I went to collect a parcel of the Rainbow Magic books. Then on to Wednesday. So Wednesday was another long, long day at work. Um, and later on, um, Billy's mummy brought the girls back. Um, so I did manage to steal away a coffee with her, which was very nice. I hadn't, I don't think I'd, I think that was the day that I didn't get a drink all day. I was on like back to back teams calls, but I did manage to grab a brew with her when she came to drop the girls off. And then, um... I went back to work for a while and then I managed to have movie night with the girls um, and I think I, I went back to work after they went to bed Um, yeah I did. So um, I'm just marking those with icons from Planner Face. These were also, I don't know if I said where these were from, so this one's from Fox and Pip, this one's from the Coffee Monster Code, these are all from Planner Face. Um, and then this one's from the Coffee Monsters Co. There were only three of us but Never mind. Um, so I've just put that we had films with the girls. Then, yes, I did go back to work, which was just a bit pants, really. I went back to work when the girls were in bed. I think I worked until about 10 o'clock. Um, so I've got this, like, really pretty but grumpy Bonilla <laughs> with, like, a laptop, which I thought was, like, perfect. Because um, the flowers really went with the kit, but it's, like, a grumpy face. Because um, obviously I was grumpy at having to go back to work. Then, what else did we have? So, I then I did some reading. Now, let's get this right now. I'm going on this side. Um, so, I am marking that with a, like, Kindle and book sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. 
can't remember what I was reading at this point. I might have... Oh, this might have been the day that I started Once Upon a Broken Heart. Well, oh, there we go. There's another rabbit hole and gone down. Oh, what a series. If any of you are book girlies or book people, get on it. I'm obsessed. I read them all in April, all three of them. Um, absolutely love them. They're by Stephanie Garber. They're like, a, a, I believe it's called, now I'm, I'm an avid reader. However, the terms of the book world... I am not 100% au fait with. However, I do believe it is called a romanticy, which is a fantasy romance. I believe. That's right. Someone tell me if I'm wrong. Kat, if you're watching, she'll tell me if I'm wrong. Um, a romanticy. Now, it's a trilogy and it's just quite possibly the best series of books I think I've ever read. I've, I absolutely, I want them. And actually today, my amazing friend Daisy, who is the Daily Daisy on um, Instagram, has bought me a limited edition version of the first book for my birthday as a belated birthday present, which I just cannot even wait to show you that in a haul. It has absolutely made my year because um, I'm going to put them on display in my new office. So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that's the day I started reading Once Upon a Broken Heart. The second one is called The Ballad of Never After and the third one is called A Curse for True Love. Um, and they're actually like a subsequent series to another series that you don't have to read first. Um, the Caraval series, which is Caraval Legendary Finale and then Spectacular is coming out in October, um, which is like a, a novella short story. Um, but yeah. Now, I've just realised that it was Friday that Joanne came, not Thursday. So I just want to swap these boxes round um this is all curled now there we go and then this one we'll just dump it here but we can uh we can move it if we need to anyway on to thursday so i knew this was going to be a, a i think i just knew it was going to be a bad day this was a really really bad day this was kind of when the life changing event happened <laughs> Um, that we're not going to talk about. Um, thought I'd lost a load of stickers then. I thought I've only got three days left. Um, so I think I knew that this day was going to be a bad day. So I wanted to not, obviously I was watching the girls on this day. Um, work was really, really busy and they just permanently needed me. Um, yeah, I mean, I knew it was going to be like that, um, but I just had a very bad day and I ended up very upset. Um, so, yes, I am marking watching the girls with a flowery Dot the Bear from Paper Kate. And then I am also marking um, being busy at work with a um, laptop sticker from Planner Face. So then after that... I figured by lunchtime, they absolutely needed to burn off some energy. So we went to the park. So um, we're really lucky we have a park literally at the bottom of our road. It's, it's at the bottom of our road and it's really big and it's got a gorgeous play area and it's it's a blessing really to have it so close. That is really wonky. Um, so yeah, I took them to the park on lunch to get rid of some steam. Um which was absolutely what they needed to do. That's better. Then um, I ended up being very upset. Um, everything happened, which that's all I'm gonna say, and ended up being quite upset. Anyway, the girls absolutely cheered me up um, into an oblivion. So I am marking just being upset with a emoti from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then I basically put the girls to bed um, and I got a bubble bath. I didn't go back to work. I wasn't really in a position to go back to work. Um, so I've just got a, um, this is Lottie having a bath and she is from Stick With The Planko. Then finally, I just got an early night. I absolutely needed an early night. So I am marking that with a pillow icon from Planner Face. So going on to Friday, um, 
as if I wasn't really sure if I'd, the week could have got any worse. It did. Um, so I had my morning coffee and I am marking that with a um, sticker from Josephine Bow Designs. These were some coloured transparent stickers which were from the advent. Again, I was really, really busy at work. Um, have I got a... Yes, I have. Right, let's find the right... Hmm, which side am I going to be going on? This one. Um, so again, I'm just marking that with a laptop sticker from Planner Face. I feel like I've written this about like every day. Busy at work, busy at work. Long day, long day. So it was either long day, work late or busy at work. All I did was work basically. <laughs> um, not very interesting, but it does get more interesting. Um, so then after that, um, I was again really upset and this was when Joanne said she was gonna come. Um, I'm very lucky that Joanne only lives about an hour and 15 minutes away in good traffic um, and luckily she like had no plans and yeah just came and helped me um, which was fantastic so I'm just marking that with a emoji rainbow from the Coffee Monsters Co and then basically we just like grabbed McDonald's um, so that was all we actually did um, and we just like chatted and had some I think we had cocktails um yeah I'm pretty sure we had like canned cocktails um and a Mackey's and yeah that was awesome so I'm just marking that with an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co and I've got a bit of a random sized gap but I think I can get a glitter header in there so let's just go for a baby pink one for contrast. I think I'll just layer them up. There we go. That just fills that tiny gap. Okay, then on to Saturday, we had a nice lion, which was fun. I just love a lion. I always feel so much more rejuvenated if my alarm doesn't wake me up. I say a lion, I, we, I think we were up at like nine. We were out of bed by nine. But when I say sleep in, it's where my alarm doesn't wake me up and I just wake myself up. Um, so then I mark, want to mark that I just spent the day with Joanne. Um, she basically just, yeah, came and sorted my life out is all I can really say. Um, she helped me clean the house from top to bottom, which was just a huge help. Um, she kept saying that a clean house is a happy mind or something, a happy house, happy mind or something like that. So she was like, whatever you need to do, we'll do it now while we're here. So I was like, thank you. So I've just got this, um, like spring cleaning floral emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then we watched the Eras Tour movie. So I was avoiding watching it. Um, we are going in, in June to Wembley in London to see Taylor Swift and um, myself, Joanne and two of our other friends. Um, and basically, yeah, um, I was avoiding watching it. However, so many TikTok theories about, you know, is the set list going to be the same? And actually we're quite convinced she's going to do a significant change up. So I didn't feel like it was a bad thing to watch it. Um, because I just thought, well, I think it's going to be quite a bit different. So we decided to watch it and then we just did like a TV binge. Um, so we were watching this like documentary about this guy who murdered somebody and we're into kind of <laughs> uh, things like that, you know, like um, murder documentaries. So yeah. Then again, on Sunday, we had a lion, which was nice, um, nice and chilled day. Uh, so I'm just marking that with a pillow from Planner Face. This is from Fox and Pip. This one's from Planner Face as well. I keep forgetting to say where my stickers are from. And um, then I made Joanne pancakes. <laughs> so I felt like I owed her a really nice breakfast. So I handmade pancakes, which I don't do very often, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so I've got a... Um, Dot the Bear kind of holding a stack of pancakes. 
Um, these are some of my favourite ever character stickers. I have an entire sheet dedicated to pancakes. Then we went to collect some parcels um, and kind of like run some errands and we bought some beads to make our friendship bracelets for the Eras tour. Um, so I'm just marking that with like a love heart emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I've also uh, got to mark that we collected the parcels. So that's the same colour. Uh, let's go for a big one just because I've got like a big sticker. So I'm using this like um, post box which is from Papershire. I never use them because they're very pink and I don't really use very pink kits often. Um, so then just wanted to mark that it was Rainbow Magic. So that's what I was going and collecting. There were some more Rainbow Magic books for Theodora. And I'm just marking that with like a book icon from Planaface. Then I did go to my neighbor's house. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room to mark both, will I? Let's see. No, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room. So I'm just gonna use, a, um, use a half box, I think. Yeah, let's just use a, that'll fit, I think. Yeah, um, so I did wanna mark that I went for dinner at my next door neighbor's house. They very kindly invited me round for dinner. Um, and I also, I did have an early night, but, um, I don't have room to mark that, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I have got so many stickers left. Like I always do with mystery kits. I could probably easily actually get another spread out of this, you know. Um, I always just put my kit leftovers in a pile and then I give them away at the end of the year. Um, but I bet I could get another... I could get another script lot out of this. I won't do because I rarely use kits twice unless I absolutely beyond adore them. Um, I mean, I adore every kit that I use, but some of them are my absolute favourites, which I've used like twice and don't have another version of, like Coastal from Planner Face, which was the mystery kit that made me subscribe to the mystery. Um, but yeah, I am really, really loving this. This font is just chef's kiss. I absolutely love like typewriter font. I think it's so clean. And I absolutely love it. I am using this font throughout April. So um, all of my custom scripts for April are in this font. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this. Um, so I do need to put my date dots on, which I'll go and do afterwards. Um, but a huge shout out to Joanne for coming and saving me this week. And yeah, I hope you love this spread. I hope you like this video. If you did, I'd love if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see future videos, I'd love if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching.